I got a lot of pushback on my initial video about highly pathogenic avian influenza. People were like, oh, you know, bird flu is a scam. You're being a fear monger, which like, <laughs> I'm like, did you watch the video? Because I really don't think I was being a fear monger. But anyway, basically a lot of people were saying, you know, bird flu is like this made up thing and it's, you know, created by the powers that be. I want to come out right now and state that I do believe that avian influenza, highly pathogenic avian influenza is in the United States right now and it is a real thing. But I need to acknowledge something. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. I am a backyard chicken educator here in the Pacific Northwest, but you can call me the president of Chickenlandia. I honestly did not want to make this video and I literally like right now, I feel super anxious. I'm about to raise concerns about an industry that has a lot of power and I am no stranger to powerful industries. My family, my parents, they came from a country that was literally torn apart by corporate interest. I think it's important to think about things critically and to also encourage you guys to really look into the information that you're receiving, no matter where you're getting it from. Yes, I believe we are in a situation right now. It is a very unbalanced situation where this strain of bird flu is in the United States and it is causing problems. It's real, it's here. I do believe that. Now, does the panic that is being communicated to us, does that have to do with us possibly getting sick? Does that have to do with concern for our backyard flocks? I don't think those two things are the main concern by the powers that be. I think the main concern is how this virus could affect the poultry industry. So really, if you think long enough about it, you could maybe think that the main concern has to do with money. Now that doesn't mean that they don't care about our flocks. That doesn't mean that they don't care about the wild bird population. But I think it's really important to know where the priorities are and why, you know, this is affecting our backyard flocks and we could possibly lose our backyard flocks. And I think the main reason is to protect these factory farms with these conditions where if bird flu gets in their walls, they are facing a horrible situation. So I know this might surprise some of you, but even though I said what I just said, that doesn't mean that I just don't care what happens to the poultry industry. If something comes through and affects the poultry industry, it's gonna affect humanity in a big way. And it could really hurt a lot of people who depend on cheap food in order to feed their families. So I don't want bird flu to just go crazy. I don't want it to get into my backyard flock because that would be a devastating situation and I don't want it to hit the poultry industry. We can't just close that industry overnight. It would have really bad consequences. And I know I live on a big piece of land. I've got chickens that supply me with wonderful protein for my family, but a lot of people don't have that. And so I, I think it is responsible to think about that, to consider that and to take certain steps to protect your flock so that this thing doesn't go spreading all over the country. In my last video, I talked about how low pathogenic avian flu is really everywhere in the natural environment. It's not a huge deal. It's not a threat to the poultry industry, but this strain that we have going through, it really represents an imbalance in our environment. And I think it's really important for us to look at that and think critically about it and ask ourselves, where we believe it came from. When I am researching for information about bird flu, what I see are images of wild birds, usually aquatic birds, dead and dying and being removed from their areas. I see images of backyard flocks, but what I don't see a lot of are the insides of these factory poultry farms. If that is the reason why there is so much alarm, why aren't we seeing images of factory farms? 
What conditions are necessary for these highly pathogenic strains to evolve? Is it a condition like this? Or is it a condition like this? I can't answer that question for you, but I will tell you, you should ask that question because the answer is important. Okay guys, so if you actually got to the end of this video and you haven't seen the first video where I talk about very simple, common sense things that you can do to protect your chickens from bird flu and even other diseases, then all you need to do is click right here. It's 100% friendly backyard chickens, education and entertainment. And I know you're gonna love it.